Welcome back to Open Country everyone. This is potentially the penultimate episode, I think. Um, or penultimate mission, anyway. So, we've rested. As you can see, I've got it into the green. We've got food, we've got water. Um, we're just going to get on the radio now. Emergency! Emergency! Please respond! What's the emergency, Ranger? have a medical situation. Navy had an accident over a snow ridge. He fell with a snowmobile from a considerable height and broke both her legs. Oh dear lord, the frostbite's gonna get her. I'd better... No, no. Luckily, she wasn't far away from a cabin, so she crawled towards it for warmth and shelter. Well, that's a relief. That's not the whole story. Isabel went to her location but her snowmobile grabbed down halfway. Oh, where is Isabel now? She's taking shelter at the base of the rocky gate. You follow the main road, you'll find her easily. Okay, I'm on it. Wonderful. <laughs> Uh, okay, well, interact, pack that down, at least we've got some daylight, uh, snow ridge, travel, uh, snowmobile, take the snow, come on, just take the snowmobile near the RV, talk to Amy in the cabin, where, oh where, Oh, is she in this cabin? Or is she in that cabin? Nobody knows. Which cabin is she in? Is she in this cabin here then? Let's, let's, let's check. Let's check first. E. Interact? No, we don't need to rest. Save? Seems like a sensible idea, doesn't it? Slot 1. Confirm. Right. I don't know what we're supposed to be doing. Let's get on this thing. Go to the rocky gates. I know where the rocky gates are. We've just been there earlier on the other... On the previous mission, we went through the rocky gates. I hope you found by now. Well, you could do it yourself. I didn't, Ranger. I think I'm halfway there. We'll move faster because the blizzard arrived sooner than forecast. Over and out. Could have done it yourself, you lazy git. And there's no blizzard here either. Oh, there's a jump over there. Let's not do that and say we did. Right, there's the gates are uh, here somewhere. Go through these. Go left. That's a tunnel. We go through like a rocky thing here. There, there it is. Is this it? Gates, then is it up here? Talk to Isabel. Where is she there? Oh, there's her snowmobile. And there she is. Right, idiot. Isabel, hop on. The blizzard's about to arrive. About time someone showed up. What happened? I don't know. The snowmobile simply stopped functioning. Out of gas? Probably. Stop assuming things. It's making me feel annoyed. Did the engine make funny noises or blow up? No. Out of gas. Well, at least I managed to take shelter until you arrived. No time to waste. What cabin are we going to? Walcott Cabin. And step on it. I'm worried sick. Well, 
as it would happen, I know where that is too, because that is a cabin I found um, a few missions ago when we were, what were we hunting over this way? Oh, what was it? The goats, the big, the those big, big old goat thingy jobbies. Where is it? That way. I knew it was tucked away somewhere. Right, so we've got to go over the bridge that we fixed, and then you go through, and then there's a cabin on the right. I can't see no blizzard. Where's it? Everybody expecting there to be blizzards and stuff. I don't know what you're talking about. I can see the three of us. This could be interesting. Mind you, the other one's got broken legs, so she ain't use useful for much, is she? Taking shelter in this cabin. <clears throat> Down through here. Whoa. Tight through this bit. Sterling. That hurt a little bit. Glad I've been out here already. Or else I'd be getting a bit. There's the cabin. Hey yo. Where's she gone? Ha! <laughs> Lost her. Oh well. <laughs> I'm sure she'll respawn like old Bob does. <laughs> this is it. See? Woke up cabin. Oh. I do hope she's stable. Let's hope so. Oh, poor thing. How are you, sweetie? Um, okay-ish. Duke and I have to go. Let me take a look at your legs. I sure do hope you know what you're doing with that. I went to med school. It wasn't really my calling. I love studying plants more than fixing bones. I see. Listen. I think I'll stay here overnight so I can keep an eye on you. I'll talk to the ranger to send some medics. Okay, I'm off then. But not before you take this. As a token of my appreciation. Thanks. See you around, Miss Beecroft. Take good care of her. I will. See ya. Bye, Amy. Get well soon. What was that all about? <laughs> I, I, I'm going to presume that we came out and got attacked by a bear. I can't go back in there, but I can save, which is what I'm going to do, because that was weird. I can't save. I can't do anything. Um, use my sleeping bag then. Uh, I'm really... It's, uh, yeah. Uh, I got a bit... Yeah. Don't... <laughs> 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 I'm 
just in case you didn't know, I'm a bit perplexed as to what actually happened. And yeah, I don't know. What what we gotta do? Read Isabel's note. Hey Buckshot, sorry to take off like that, but Amy's leg got a turn for the worst. So I had to call a chopper to get her down to Denver. I took a good look at you and you seem to be just passed out. No bleeding, just a few scratches. It seems that the fall, you, fall got to you. Hope to see you soon, Isabel. Very, very confused. <laughs> that's, that's the most, that's the most messed up. Um, where's the blizzard? I don't know. Let's get back to our RV. This is. Another. Yeah. Come on then. Hello, this is Ranger Ainsley with an emergency. Do you copy? Over. Loud and clear, Ranger. Our friend Jerry is in trouble again. <laughs> please don't say another bear. Just please don't. It's not an animal if that's any comfort to you. Oh, thank the Lord. Then what is it? Well, Jerry wanted to spend two days at Myrtle Cabin along with a few friends of his. The trouble is, they're now snowed in because of last night's blizzard. What's worse is that they're out of resources. Okay, got it. Once I get the resources, how can I deliver them to Jerry and his friends? All windows and doors are completely covered with snow. So the only way to deliver the resources is to drop them through the chimney. Okay, I'm off to Myrtle Cabin to talk to Jerry and see what resources they need. Okay. In the meantime, I'm going to contact the guys with the snow pile to see when they can arrive. Okay, great. Over and out. Weird. <laughs> uh, weird. Yeah. Let's eat some vegetables because we're getting a bit... Oh, I need a water not vegetables let's have some water where is myrtle cabin then over there oh it's not not too far away let's hop on the old skidoo head around there they're gonna want food they're going to want berries, they're going to want water, they're going to want meat. I'm going to go on a berry picking, meat hunting, water searching situation. It'll be a dream. kind of gone off the track. I don't know if I'm doing the right thing or not. Probably not. Oh, it's like pinball. Is it going to go over? No. The Jesus, that went backwards quick, didn't it? I'm presuming <laughs> that's, that's the cabin. Okay. <clears throat> hey Jerry, can you hear me? Jerry, are you there? Hey, I'm here. I'm here. Boy, am I glad to hear you. Quite a pickle you've gotten yourself into again, isn't that right, Jerry? Yeah, too many pickles actually. 
Gee, now I really want a pickle. Speaking of which, what resources are you guys low on? We're out of firewood, and we're almost out of food. We're only asking for logs, meat, and mushrooms. Although camp food would be nice to have if you can find any. Okay, got it. I'm going after them now. Hopefully it won't take long. Please be as quick as you can be. We're freezing here. Gather five log. <sighs> Gather five logs. Seven meat. Return with the supplies in less than ten minutes. Hold on. Hold on. I feel like this is going to require several attempts. Right, we have attempted to do this quite a few times. It's uh, beginning to really get on my... Boobs, for want of a better word, the proper word, that we should behave. two and that is one pelt two raw meat get rid of the pelt we don't want the pelt we need three more meat I think I know just where to go because I have done this a million times Leaving the snowmobile where it is, is the best option for us. Don't run. Right. That scared the rabbits off. That's okay, we'll just go in sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. What we got over there, I just saw. Jackass. Got to be in their burrow by now. Yeah. I saw it. Right, that is the meat. <sighs> Drop that. Oh, we got more pelt there. Hold on. Drop that. Right, now we can go back, get the snowmobile, go and find some logs. I want some berries for me. Now, 
if you're you're thinking to yourself well why don't you go back to the cottage and just drop it off i did that and a load of it disappeared which really peed me off as well uh so yeah around here somewhere i did once find a pile of five logs oh you genius get me back we have done that was five logs wasn't it I'll double check when we get back I know where there's some more if I need another one <coughs> or two right gather five logs it says I'm sure I did yeah I did. Don't jerk me off. I've got what I require. Seven, five. I've got what I need. Seven and five. Let's eat that. I have five logs. <sighs> Why is it? What is going on? Go and get some more logs then. Come on, put that away. Let's get on with it. We want six logs then. Here. I have returned. Here we go. Hey Jerry, I'm back with the resources. Yeah, this is awesome. You guys have enough food and wood for a few days if you consume them wisely. I'm going to drop some packages through the chimney, so stand aside. Oh, yeah. I can already smell burning firewood and yummy grilled meat. Mmm. <laughs> this is the second greatest thing of the day. Really, now? What would be the first? Oh, Ranger Ainsley contacted us about an hour ago. He said that the guys from the snowplow will most likely be here tomorrow afternoon. Oh, that's very good news. Okay, guys, I gotta go. Thanks a lot. Without you, we'd still be freezing and hungry. So long. You got that right. 100 experience, 300 experience, 500 bucks. Uh, and the most... Hello, John. Are you there? Yeah. Hey, Buckshot. Are you there? Yes, I'm here, Nancy. I almost forgot how your voice sounds. Pretty soon you even remember how my face looks like. What in the world do you mean? Yes, you're out of stock. Never carried them in stock to begin with. But the man wanted to pay such a huge amount of bucks for this. I couldn't say no. This would have been an offer you could have refused. Oh, shut up. You know there's something in it for you. Uh, all 
Okay, I'll hunt some bears for you. That's why I'm coming with you. Ah, oh, so that's what you meant by remembering how your face looks like. Yes, I want to harvest those hides myself. Meet me at Steelers Rock ASAP. I'll be there soon. Okay, Nancy, heading there now. Over and out. Well, and just like that, it's daylight. <laughs> anyway, um, that is it for today. Uh, we've saved Jerry's behind again. And we're going to save my game right here. Yep. Thank you. So there we go. We're going to go and meet Nancy. At. Steelers Rock and Snow Ridge. We'll save that for the next episode. So thanks for watching. Stay safe and may the weather be with you.